as my witness, right? And to get started, you <coughs> judge, I would like you to state for the public record <coughs> one, who you swear your oath to, right? And where you derive your authority from. Yeah. Right, this is the um, local court uh, in session. Oh, sorry, Mr. Dawson, this is the local court in session. Uh, this is an application brought before this court for determination by this court. Um, I'm an acting judge of this local court and authorized to make a determination of proceedings brought before us. I'm going to do so now. Um, yes, you also need to answer my question and actually. Thank you, Mr. Dawson. Tell, us, tell the public where you derive your authority from and who you swear your oath to. A corporation. Okay, Mr. Dawson, uh, you uh, just take a seat now, please, and I'll proceed with my judgment. No, no, not until you tell Mr. the people of the public Mr. where Mr. You, Mr. Mr. Can you hear us? swear your oath okay, to. Your Honor, Mr. Allen, I'm sorry. Okay. You're, you're appearing for the. Um, for the applicant in these proceedings. I'm in a position yeah. to proceed and uh, hand down my decision. No, you're not. You have a seat. You're not in the position to proceed, proceed in this at all. If there's anything that you wish to take issue with following my determination, there are appeal processes. No, no. Appeal. See, you don't actually have the authority now. See, see that coat of arms that sits behind you? You do not represent that. True. Fact. And I have the facts, and I have the proof, I have the evidence, and I wish to table it for the public record. Mr. Um, Mr. Dawson, this court made orders on the 30th of August that uh, both you and the... This court is fraudulent! Oh, and so have all evidence in which you intend to rely by 12 men on the... In my affidavit, it states, I will... Table my oh. evidence on the day of court, which is my God-given right. Uh, I'll deal with, uh, I'll deal with the, uh, the, the matter and you just have a seat now. No, you're not dealing with the matter because you don't have the authority to deal with the matter. Well, Mr. Dawson, if you don't remain quiet now... And well, you know, last time you said they wouldn't you, hear me. So no, I don't Mr. stand Dawson. under your authority. Mr. Dawson, if you're going to talk across me... Well, you need to answer the questions yeah, and no tell the public record who you derive your authority from and who you represent if you have a seat and who you swear your oath to. If you must also have a seat, please, it'll become clear to you. Okay? No, not at all. Because I have the actual evidence and facts that you're corrupt and you do not represent the Australian people. Well, any more allegations like that, Mr. Dawson, I'll have you removed from the court and uh, as being uh, a person... See, because there's three law. laws. God's law, maritime law, and contract law. I stand under God's law. Mr. Dawson, are you going to sit down, please, and remain quiet while I deliver... Are you going to let the public know who you derive your authority from and who you swear your oath to? ask you one more time, Mr. Johnson, are you going to sit down please and just remain quiet while I hand out my decision and you, as I said, if... What do you got to hide? If you would just please sit down, let me hand out my decision on this matter and... No, I don't you accept it that you wish to take because you right. are fraudulent. You have no authority. Well, Mr. Johnson, if uh, you keep interrupting like this and... Not able, not enabling the court to do this business. I'll have to have to have You're a fraudulent, corrupt institution. Institution of the fake Australian government. This Dawson, please. And I have all the stuff here. And I wish to table for the public record. This is a tenancy application. I'm going to proceed with my. This is a tenancy application under section 131 of the Business Tenancy Fair Dealings Act of 2003, which seeks relief 
by the applicant by way of a warrant of possession in respect of the tenancy of the land, namely 17A Brown Street, Chicago, in the Northern Territory of Australia, land which is part of Lot 1318, Town of Alice Springs. The applicant which is all the fraudulent! The applicant Graham on the Leeds MT Proprietary Limited is trustee for the Graham Family Trust. Seeks an order from the respondents to pay all outstanding amounts of rents due to the applicant and costs incurred which result in the applicant uh, returning the premises to good repair uh, order and condition in all respects. And the applicant further seeks from the respondents the applicant's costs of their proceedings. The application in Form 30A under the uh, legislation then sets out the facts, matters and circumstances supporting the application. No, it doesn't. In no, it doesn't. It does not supply any facts in or numer evidence. In numerical paragraphs numbered 1 to 8 uh, in the applicant's... Because the lease is fraudulent, like your court. Mr Dawson, I'm not going to continue to remind you... Well, you have not told the public who you swear your oath to and where you derive your authority from. Last chance, Mr Dawson, otherwise I'm going to have security have you removed. What? Just like the coppers, private security guards? Hmm. I don't know. The application is supported by an affidavit of evidence promised by Martin Gregory Thomas Kelly, solicitor and an authorised opponent. Uh, of the applicant company as trustee for the Grand Family Trust. Mm -hmm. Evidence attested to, to within his affidavit uh, include details of the following particulars pleaded in the proceedings. Firstly, the parties and the premises particulars, and uh, the next is a copy of the lease, the subject of this application. That is fraudulent! The lease term of three years and the lease rent payable um, uh, by monthly advance payments under the lease contract. Yeah, All this it. needs to be stated for the record. You are going against this in a fraudulent manner. The you will way. not accept, you will not give the public your, where you derive your authority from, because yeah. you can't. They're not coming off code of arms. Because you're probably a Freemason. <laughs> They're not coming off code of arms either. They're not affidavit particularises the unpaid monthly rental installments with a balance of $10,067.16 as affidavit swearing on the first affidavit being the 15th of July 2022. Well, considering uh, the Constitution of 1901 is our only legal and legitimate Constitution, paragraph. the Constitution you are running under is fraudulent yeah, and yeah. made by a corporation known as Australia. Not by the Australian people, for the Australian people. Which is the Commonwealth. Which is the Commonwealth. Which is the people. On terror, Australians. The land title is not what it states. The details um, of the security deposit held by the applicant's agent is detailed in the affidavit. Um, of Mr. Keller. You are ignorant uh, and fraudulent. Well, and that deposit yeah. is yeah. to $3,000. Yeah. Well, 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 a copy of a notice of default issued by the applicant's property agent to the respondent stated the 11th of May 2022 is further annexed. Paragraph 12 pleads that the subject of this uh, annexed to Mr. Keller's affidavit authorises the issue of a notice to quit by email. Uh, that is by email or communication yeah, or electronic number yeah. and the clause 10 of the lease terms. I'm satisfied a notice to quit was served on the respondents by email on the 26th of June 2022. I refer to the next show MGTK6 and MGTK7. Here you go. By all public record. Right here. See this? This states that Tony Barnes. You, sitting under, do not have the authority Mr. because Dawson. I tell you where it's registered to, and it's not to the Australian government Dawson. for a start. Can you please desist from shouting at this court? 
The judge has left the ship. Yeah. By a, what is it? Um, judge has left the ship. The board. Therefore, the therefore, we have the yeah, jurisdiction. I have the, right. the judge has Kitty left the court. He has bailed ship. Kitty, dress. The judge has bailed ship. Please leave the courtroom. He has to leave his evidence. He has to leave his evidence. The judge has left the ship. No, no, I'm showing you so you know that they do not sit on the table. It's legally known for people again. You want me to know that. Well, the, no, the, the judge has left the ship. Yeah, he's bailed. <clears throat> the, case, the case has been closed. The judge has left the ship. Case has been closed. This is where Boxy can state his terms and conditions because the judge has left the ship. The ship has been abandoned. The judge, right. the judge, the judge has there. left the ship. And I'll, I can prove that to you as well. The judge has left so the ship. Ever, Therefore, put a hand on me. Don't touch me. Let's go. Let's We're go. going. We're I going. Have the right. Let's go. We're back going, off. mate. Yeah. We're going. I am going. To leave. I am going. I'm back going. off. Let's go. The private security guard to go away. And I have the proof of that. If you really want to know, <laughs> you can pull it out. You can't record that in. You can't use that in the court. We're going. Yes, you can. Can, we're allowed to. Allowed to do anything. It's my right. Okay. And who are you? Are you a security guard? Eh? Don't touch me. Well, you can, you do not force. The judge has left the ship. He left during court order, which means that by law. The case is closed. He could not answer who he was standing under. And where his authority comes from. And where his authority comes from. And he bailed and he left the fucking ship. Left the ship. Left the ship. Alice Springs Town Council, eh? Hey? Working with the community. Well, I don't know about that, we'll see what you've got, Well, you've got to be more getting on here.